And welcome back to TVS Presents Sport Magazine on radio. I'm John Daly. Ralph Terry is a former Major League Baseball player. He is part of some fascinating World Series history. He has also played on the Senior Golf Tour. I actually got a chance to play with Ralph in a foursome when we played on the Celebrity Players Tour. Ralph has also written a book about his life. It's called Right Down the Middle. Ralph Terry, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, John. Pleasure. It's great to be with you. So uh, are you playing much golf out there in Kansas? Well, I try to play at least nine holes a day, the weather permitting. It's been very hot lately. And, uh, but uh, at least uh, we're fortunate out here in the small town USA, western Kansas. And, uh, we, you know, we can get out. We, we don't have many, uh, many cases out here. Well, that's good. Hey, let's talk about your book. Uh, the book title is called Right Down the Middle. That kind of has two meanings. It's good for golf, but bad if you're pitching. What's that all about? Uh, the author, John Woolley, he uh, said, what are we going to call it? You know. And, uh, anyway, I was talking about the first game I pitched in the big leagues when I was 18 in Fenway Park. And uh, the Yankees had lost six in a row, and uh, I won the game. I was the youngest pitcher they ever started in Fenway Park for the Yankees. And uh, I I, uh, I was warming up and uh, before the game, and I was bouncing the ball up, and they had the biggest crowd they'd had since the '48 playoff game. And uh, and I I said, what's going on? I couldn't look up to the crowd, and uh, and I'm bouncing it. And anyway, I get in the game, and uh, Yogi's behind the plate, Yogi Berra, and, and Billy Goodman's a hitter. He's a good 300 hitter. And, and uh, and Yogi puts the mitt, mitt right in the middle of the plate and puts down one finger for a fastball. And I said, man, this guy's a good hitter. You know, they ought to be curving him or something <laughs> for his pitch. And uh, Yogi said, no, come on, give it to me. And I so I, I threw the first pitch and it just split the heart of the strike zone right down the middle, strike one. And uh, and and the uh, Willie, the officer, said, that's it. That's the title right down the middle. And I was no longer nervous, you know. I was like the opening kickoff or something in a game, you know. <laughs> and uh, I was wow. ne- never felt that nervous again. And another reason they called it right down the middle was uh, when I was a little kid during World War II, and I had a brother, and uh, Jake, and he was older, and my mother would, uh, uh, she worked, but she'd bring home uh, uh, a, a piece of pie or cake uh, every day from work for us, and we had to share it. And uh, he would cut it, slice it down the middle, and I'd get first pick. <laughs> so uh, that was one of the reasons to go right down the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. This is a TVS Presents Sport Magazine on radio. I'm John Daly. We're talking to Ralph Terry, former Major League pitcher and professional golfer on the Senior Tour. His book that he's written, he's co-written, is called Right Down the Middle. So, Ralph, we're coming up to the 60th anniversary of Mazarowski's famous home run in the 60 series that you served up. Do you ever get over that? Uh, no, I, you know, I hear it, uh, hear it quite often. It's funny, uh, I used to have some buddies I played golf with, you know, they, they always kid me. They always call me Maserati. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's... Um, I, yeah, yeah, it, it, it bothered me for a couple of years, and then uh, you know, and then I had pretty good luck in the seventh game. And uh, but uh, I got good counseling after the game. Uh, uh, I talked to Casey Stingle. That was his last year and last game, and uh, and I, I felt bad for Casey. You know, we we always all kind of had the feeling that that was going to be his last last uh, year, and. Uh, he talked to us before the seventh game of the series in Pittsburgh, and he said, "Boys, he says, man, I had a great year, have a good off season, and uh, I won't get to uh, uh, talk to you after the game. I gotta, I'll have to either congratulate uh, uh, Pittsburgh or, or him congratulate me." And and uh, but he, we felt like he was really kind of saying goodbye. But after the game, I walked in in his office, and I felt sorry for Casey. I said, "Casey, I feel." He said, what's up, kid? I said, I feel sorry I ended it for you this way, you know. And he said, well, how are you trying to pitch him? I said, in my case, I was trying to, I knew he was a high ball hitter. I was trying to keep the ball down, low it away. 
And uh, I just I just couldn't get there. Everything I threw was high. I'd warmed up uh, uh, five times in, in bullpen, and they all used somebody else. And uh, and uh, it, it was a very steep mound. And uh, the one in the game was pretty flat. And uh, my front foot came down early, and I threw everything high. And I just, I just couldn't get the ball down, because he, he said, he said, well, that, that's a physical mistake. As long as you pitch, you're not always going to get the ball where you want to. He said, that's a physical mistake. He said, at least you weren't going against a scouting report. Uh, he said, come back and have a good year next year, kid. And uh, that was great. He, he could have hung a real guilt trip on me. <laughs> but uh, Casey yeah. was taking well, Casey, Casey was kind of tough, wasn't he, Ralph? Casey? Oh yeah. Wasn't Casey yeah. kind of tough on players? Yeah, he was, but he was he was funny. He had a great sense of humor. He told great stories, and uh, he he was he was something. You know, he always uh, called everybody by their last name, except um, the only two guys he ever never called last name was Yogi and Hank Bauer. So Yogi and Hank. Everybody else was his last name. You know, Mal Ford. Somebody said, uh, well, what did he call you? And I said, <laughs> one time he said, hey, you get your finger mitt and go down there and warm up. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he was, um, he talked That's... double talk, you know, he was, uh, he was stingly, as they called him. You know, he, was, he, he, was, uh, he, was, he was a very funny guy, but he was a great and brilliant manager. So, Ralph, talk about, talk about the 62 series. We got about two minutes left here. Uh, you were on the mound then, and you pitched a brilliant one nothing game. But that final out was classic. Talk about that. Yeah, the, uh, the one nothing lead uh, coming into the ninth inning, and uh, and uh, Matty Alou beat out a drag bunt. I got on first, and uh, the next two guys tried to um, bunt him over, and uh, they fouled him off, and I struck him out, and up comes Willie Mays, man third. He doubles he doubles to right, and Maris made a great play, cut the ball off. He didn't go through the fence, but he was running to his, to his left and had a throwback try, so it was a, basically a long single, and he held Matty, Matty Lou up at third. And I got second, third, and two out, and, uh, and Willie McCovey's up, and uh, uh, first base is open, and uh, Ralph Hawk, the manager, comes to me and said, "Do you want to? What do you want to do? You want to? You want to pitch to him, or you want to put him on and let him pitch to Orlando Cepeda, the uh, 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 next batter?" And um, <clears throat> I said, "Well, let's uh, let me uh, pitch to him and uh, and work on him a little bit. This is what we used to call pitching around a hitter." And um, and if I fall behind him on the count, then we'll put him on and pitch to the next guy. Okay, that's the deal. And uh, and the first pitch, I threw him an off-speed pitch, and uh, he hit a a high fly ball right field foul. It was uh, Marison moving over. It looked like he was going to catch it in the wind, blowing the candlestick part very windy across left to right. Uh, Dropped it in behind the bullpen, uh, just in the stands. the next pitch, uh, I was doing a fastball inside. I, I wanted to get it in the lot real close, but I, I got to I would have played a little bit. And he he had to, uh, he was kind of a low ball swinger, an uppercut swing. And he hit it a little up on it. He hit it really solid right field. And Bobby Richardson had moved over to way over the hole to play him, play him to pull and beat. And I thought he was playing too deep, you know, too too much to pull. But, you know, uh, I I made that mistake of moving Bobby and Tony around before. And you don't move a seven-time (laughs) all-star. Sure enough, he hit it, and I looked and smacked it right at him. And that was it. Wow. Did you feel vindicated after that? Yeah, it was uh, was really the – the best game probably that I ever pitched. Uh, I retired the first 17 men in a row, and uh, 
and uh, gave up a single to the pitcher of Sanford, Luke Luker over second. And then uh, <clears throat> I gave up uh, uh, another hit and had a two-hitter going in the ninth. But it was um, the best game I ever pitched, and it was fortunate to win it. And, uh, you know, I, I remember riding out to the ballpark, uh, and Grant Hill was on the radio. We could hear him. Of course, he was kind of a National League fan, <laughs> played in the National League. Or, uh, they asked him who, who was going to win. He said, well, the Giants will win. You know, Terry's already lost one seven game. He'll choke up. <laughs> I said, I saw it at the ballpark and show, but, you know, when he heard, heard what you said, he called me to choke up. He said, well, hell, I had to say something, you know, and you had to say that. Well, anyway, uh, about that. That's a great story, Ralph. Ralph, I'm, I'm out of time. I want to bring you back so we can talk about your uh, career on the Senior Players Tour. I really appreciate you being on. Thank you so much. You bet, John. Thank you. All right, thanks. And we've been talking to Ralph Terry, former Major League pitcher, professional golfer on the Senior Tour. Make sure to pick up the book he has co-written. It's called Right Down the Middle. TBS Sport Magazine is back. Great stories on a great sports magazine. Just go to tbssportmagazine.com. When we come back, we're going to talk about some golf events and the old Hooters Tour with Lee Moore. Stick around. Stick around. 